गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू आई एम प्रतीक्षा मोहित चक्रवर्ती एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय चैनल कारुबा की सो फॉर द लास्ट फ्यू डेज आई वाज प्लानिंग ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग ऑन अ केन ट्री दैट वी इन बंगाली वी कॉल कूलो सो आई हैड डन अ कूलो पेंटिंग बिफोर बट दैट वाज अ वेरी स्मॉल केन ट्री दैट आई हैड कस्टमाइज फ्रॉम अ लोकल फेयर इन कोलकाता सो या आई रियली लव इट सो आई वाज थिंकिंग ऑफ डूइंग समथिंग सिमिलर वंस अगेन बट आई वॉन्टेड टू डू विथ दिस टाइम ऑन अ बिगर केन ट्री सो आई एम इन असैम आई लिव इन जोरहा Uh, and here in Assamese tradition, this cane tray is a very important part of their uh, daily life. You know, like they do this traditional bihu dance using different shapes of these cane trays, or they also use it for decorating their houses. So cane trays are very popular here in Assam. So I went to this market, and if you come to Assam, you can find different sizes and shapes of these cane trays. They are really amazing and very unusual. That And you normally get to see. So when I went to the market, I uh, found this amazing uh, cane tray. As you can see here, this is the picture of the cane tray that I purchased, and it is. pretty big actually it's not very small it's quite big and when i uh, saw this first time i really loved it and i wanted to buy it so i purchased it that time when i purchased this cane tree i had no uh, plans of doing anything but then later on i thought how about i do some kind of painting on this cane tree so that it could look even more beautiful and that is exactly what i did i thought of doing some jamini roy painting because i thought that would really go with this cane tree the theme would just really uh, go well so i thought of doing this um, beautiful jamini roy painting and i'm going to share that with you guys so i would request you to please watch the complete video because i'm sure you're going to love the end result so now let us begin with the video but before that i would just like to say this uh, that uh, if you are watching this video and you are planning of doing something similar painting on cane trays could be a little difficult the surface is very uneven so when you are painting on it or when you are uh, drawing anything on a cane tray it might be a little difficult but once that painting is complete you are definitely going to love it no matter whatever you paint on the cane tray so yeah today i'm going to share with you a jamini roy painting on this cane tree so yeah now without any further ado let's just begin with our video so this is the cane tree and you've already seen the picture and uh, the price of this cane tree was 100 rupees but it may definitely vary since i purchased this from this local market so it can vary um, and now i'm just doing a rough sketch first for that i'm using just a normal pencil but if you want you can use any other special pencils as well and now i'm using my round brush number 12 and prussian blue color uh, for beginning the painting and i've already said that this is a jamini roy paint Painting a very famous Jamini Roy painting. Now uh, I should say this uh, at the beginning of the video. I think that uh, you are not going to get that perfect perfection that you might want when you are painting on a cane tray, because as I said already, the surface is not at all smooth, so it kind of becomes really difficult. Uh, and uh, now I'm using my round brush number twelve for doing uh, the green color. Now the details of all the products I am using will be given either on the screen or in the description box. So if you want you can go and check my description box and uh, yeah there will also be the link of my Bengali vlog channel. So if you want you can also click on that link and visit my vlog channel as well uh, if you want to. And now I am going to mix white and black color uh, because I don't have the gray color so I'm going to create the gray color and for that it is very simple I'm just going to mix black with white and uh, for that I'm using the very same round brush number 12 and I'm doing the gray color here and uh, this picture is very common if you search for any uh, jamini roy painting online or if you uh, have any book 
of Jamini Roy painting. You can always find this painting. This is the painting of uh, Lord Krishna with his Yashoda Ma, and uh, this is a very beautiful picture and. Honestly, I wanted uh, to do something really colorful. I wanted to have a lot of colors uh, in this picture, so I was thinking as to what I should be painting. First, I have the idea. I was thinking about doing a Buddha painting, but then later on, I thought since this is a cane tree, so maybe I should go with the Jamini Roy. So I skipped the idea of painting Buddha on it, and I decided of doing this painting here. And it is really colorful. It has all these beautiful colors, bright colors here. And uh, I think at the end, when you see it, you're really going to like it because, as you can see right now, I'm using my uh, zero size brush just to do the border. And uh, for that, I'm using my crimson red color. But I'm going to change the brush right now, as you can see. Uh, and uh, here, I'm using my round brush number four for filling the gaps. And uh, yeah, as I uh, as I was saying that. as you can already see i'm using all the bright colors like right now i'm using my dark brown color uh, and i'm using this prussian blue uh, dark green color red color i'm using all the bright colors because i think it is really going to turn this very basic but very very beautiful cane tree into even more beautiful art piece and uh, that was all that i wanted but if you are doing something similar you can always try out any other painting what whatever you want according to your choice you can always do that that is completely uh, up to you uh, but uh, i was really wanting to uh, have a very colorful painting so i thought jamini roy painting would be the perfect uh, choice for uh, doing something on the cane tree You know I have done uh, a painting on cane tree before and that video is already uh, there in my channel so I will be sharing the link of that video maybe in my description box so if you want you can just go and uh, check the link from there otherwise if you want you can also see that video on my channel um that is also something that is also a jamini roy painting that i had done uh, but it was on a very small cane tree as i said in the beginning i had customized that uh, particular cane uh, tree from a local fair in kolkata and i had ordered uh, someone to uh, customize that particular size for me so it was available but that size is not usually available in the markets unless you order or you customize them specially uh and after i did that i sort of fell in love with painting on a uh, cane tree in whatever size shape available i'm very very fond of doing and i think this is one very good um, way of decorating your house if you want to do any sort of uh, wall art or you are uh, looking for any sort of wall decor you can always use these cane trees for doing that you can always uh, either purchase is a very uh, colorful cane tree from somewhere or you can buy a normal cane tree and paint it yourself uh, you can do whatever you want and when you uh, you know hang them on the wall or you use them as the wall art it looks really amazing it it sort of gives you that very traditional uh feel so i i really love it and uh since i'm living in this rented apartment i i uh, do not have any sort of wall art or textures on the wall and you guys already know i see this i have been saying this in many of my previous videos too that i really don't like dull walls i really don't like walls that have nothing um on them so i uh, here since i'm not allowed to you know have any texture or do anything on the wall i keep on doing um, i keep on painting these things and i uh, hang them on the wall uh, because that is the maximum i'm allowed here and uh, that is what i did in this case as well i painted on this cane tree and uh, i am absolutely planning of hanging it on my living room wall that is the plan as of now uh, but even if you're not hanging it you know you can also keep it on the floor and uh, i'm sure when any guests come to your house they are absolutely going to appreciate your work once they see it uh, and uh, that is uh, something that happens 
with me because whenever I paint something, whatever I share with you guys, I um, actually use all those products to decorate my rented apartment here. And uh, when guests come to my house, when they see those products, they really appreciate, and I get very very happy. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to feel the same way, right? Because that's your creation. You are doing it, and uh, it feels lovely when people appreciate your work. Uh, and and uh, yeah so i love it and i love to display my work and as i said you know painting on cane tray is not easy you are not going to uh, maybe get that exact perfection uh, that you expect from your painting when you're doing it on a cane tray because the surface is not at all even and uh, uh, when you you run your brush uh, on on the cane tray it can be really difficult for you to have that perfect you know that perfection so um, that might hurt you somewhere uh, if you're a person like me who is very uh, you know perfection freak when i'm painting i try to do it in a perfect way i want my painting to be really perfect and uh, so i try to do that maybe i'm not successful all the time but i try at least but when it comes to painting on a cane tray that becomes really difficult but still you can try as much as you can you can try your level best but trust me even if you do not get that perfect you know like the perfection uh, at the end you are going to like it and uh, whatever the end result you get that is definitely going to be beautiful uh, and i guess i've said this like so many times from the beginning of the video and uh, i would request that you definitely give it a try maybe your painting is not going to be that perfect but that is fine you know at the end of the day what matters is you have done this on your own and trust me it is going to look beautiful so if you're new on my channel and you're watching this video for the first time then uh, i would request you to kindly go and watch all the other videos on my channel and uh, i upload new videos every week uh, sometimes twice a week so for that you have to uh, watch my videos for that you have to subscribe my channel and uh, trust me there are a variety of videos on my channel I have videos where I paint on canvases I do DIYs or maybe I paint on uh, unstitched cloth materials or on a ready-made blouse and there are so many other varieties on my channel so for that you have to subscribe my channel so that you can get the regular updates and here guys this is the final look just look at it isn't it looking so so beautiful just as I had promised it is going to look amazing at the end just look at it I'm so so in love with it and I would request you to just go and do it yourself and uh, yeah that was it I hope you enjoyed this video so guys that was it that was the video and as I had already told you in the beginning of the video that uh, you are definitely going to love the end result so I really hope that you have liked the outcome because I am absolutely loving it and uh, yeah I would suggest that even you guys just go to the market buy any any cane tray of any shape size whatever you find just go and paint on it and I am very very sure that even you are going to love whatever you paint on it and uh, yeah if you like this video then you know what to do just hit the like button and let me know what you felt about it in my comment section below because I love to read your comments and uh, yeah if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please consider subscribing it and press the bell icon just beside the subscribe button and click on the all options so that you can get all the weekly notifications of the new videos uh, on my channel at the very earliest so uh, I will be seeing you very soon with another new video till then bye bye and stay creative